Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. You find us in the middle of a wood in min minus conditions, so it's like zero and below, isn't it? Definitely tonight. Yeah, it's freezing, it's December. We're in the middle of the woods. Middle of Blair Witch. And we've got something quite exciting. It links really closely with our road trip next year. So we need to, one, get down and show you, and it is getting down, and you'll see in a minute, but also tell you where we're going. See if you can guess between now and the end of the video where it is we're going. No. I think they will, I think they'll get it. I don't think they will. Right. So we've just made our way through some fields. <laughs> Andy's walking like an old man. Don't know what's happening there. It's down. <laughs> and now we're walking through the trees. But we can already see straight away. Ow! That got nettled. I can see where we're going already. Now down here is something pretty impressive. People have been having parties in here oh, already. Tea lights with something, isn't it? Yeah, so we might just quickly bomb down and put some in there so we can actually see we are torches. Yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah. Make it a bit romantic. Yeah, make it like a bit of a mood. Yeah, we've you know? got some nice... Scented. Strangely enough, I've brought some scented candles with me. Let's get them set up first. <laughs> What's that noise? That weren't a normal noise. Fuck knows. It weren't like a... Like a... Oh, what the fucking hell. <laughs> I've never seen you jump as much in my life. I did that before, I've been here 10 minutes. Fucking bastard. Fucking bastard, I hope it dies now. Pheasant. I hope it gets shot. It will get shot very soon. Good. I've been complaining of chest pains, don't we, here? Uh, <laughs> Chuffing hell, fire. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. Let's get it. Literally just jumped out of my skin. It's not the only. I jumped to be fair, <laughs> but I, it made me laugh watching you jump. Right. Let's go down. Now, it is very awkward down here, but what is inside? Fucking bastard pheasants. They're so loud. One of the birds that just wind me up. Right. Look at this. Oh. Now, this. In fact, I'm going to tell you in a minute, because at the moment, I'm just giving myself the biggest wedgie in the world. My shorts are so far up my arse crack, it's unbelievable. Big arse crack. Oh, big shorts, luckily. <laughs> Horrible man. Get in. Look at it in here. It's tight down there, isn't it? Very. It's tight to none to crotch. Let's have a look round. Now it's not the biggest of places, but it's just that it's here like this. This is crazy. That something would just be under a tree like this. Because you just you wouldn't know. You could walk past it quite easily, couldn't you? Definitely. Uh, Don't know what we're used for. Well, we'll come to that in a minute. We'll go and have a sit down and a chat. Let's have a walk round first. So, Andrew has been kind enough to put all the candles out for us, like a good little boy. Nice romantic little setting. Yeah. Well, everybody seems to want us to go on like some sort of date, so we may as well. Honeymoon, son. What? Honeymoon? I haven't proposed yet. Where's my fucking ring? <laughs> <laughs> Is it with your missus? Well, I'm with your ears. <laughs> I'd not even thought about that, to be fair. <laughs> Right, I don't think I can get this way. We might have to go the other way. I can't even see because of the light. God, people that have been here before that I've watched in videos, they must have been fucking short. Because I can't stand up. I can, but I have to quick my neck. Quick your neck? Quick your neck. Yeah, but I'm bent. <laughs> no. Well, we know you're no. bent. <laughs> I can't say things like that. Go on, come down this way. Right, let's follow you down. Doing a lot of underground stuff, aren't we, recently? The underground series. Yeah, but it's an unplanned underground series. What's this? What do you mean? Oh, fucking head. Oh, it's a torch. I thought it was 
Why do you always, somebody said the other day, why do we always find things that look like dildos? I don't know. It's just you and it. Why are you sniffing it? Not being used. You just never know, it could be Fat Amy. Right. Yeah, this goes a bit far. It does. Have you not down, been down to this bit? No. Yeah, I will come. I've only got to about here. I'm putting all the uh, candles around this bit. Look at this, though. What was this bit used for? There's some effort and time gone into this, oh, isn't there? this one. What? Give me this one. Oh. This was your bit to do, weren't it? Yeah. I'm only saying it so I could blame you. Yeah. Happy birthday. It's my mum's 70th birthday oh. today. Happy birthday, mum. Oh. I hope you have a nice birthday. Well, it'll be over by the time this is up, but yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. make sure she knows. I hope you've had a nice birthday. Yeah, so that's better. That's better, isn't it? Right. I hope Colin's looked after you. Who's Colin? No, 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 it's remember. not me dad. That would be a dad's name. My dad's not called Colin. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Colin has looked after you. I hope Chris has looked after you. Yeah, that's better. Seems I'm not allowed to speak to him anyway. <laughs> I've put Andy on a ban of speaking no, to my dad. You've put your dad on a ban of speaking to everybody. Well, that's true. He's not allowed to. He's me dad. He's my property. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. There's theories, but there's no definite truth about this place. Have you read anything about it no, at all? Not a thing. So basically, it's apparently connected to the Knights Templar. Do you know who the Knights Templar are? No. Do you know who the Crusaders are? Yes. So basically, the Crusaders, it's a sect of them. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, the Crusaders went over from, well, once again, there's different theories on this. But it comes from like Richard the Lionheart, is it? Yes. Um, and he went off and went, right, let's go like all English do and go and conquer every fucking place and kill everybody on the way. And Raid and pillage. That's exactly it. And look for the Holy Grail. I, I loved that film. Monty Python. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. I, I based my life on them. As in, I'm stupid as fuck. <laughs> we are the knights that go... <laughs> <laughs> but that's all round, based around that as well. Yeah. So, eat. that one with the rab rabid rabbits as well. Yeah, the rabbit up onto the neck. <laughs> yeah, I actually saw that come up on Facebook when I watched it. Did Good you? Funny. Yeah. Oh, I ain't seen any of that since I was at school. It was massive when I was at school. Well, you were massive when you were at school. No, I was actually really thin when I was at school. But getting back to what we were talking about, basically, they fecked off over to sort of foreign lands where Arabs are and one thing another and they raped, pillaged, stole the treasures and then it all kicked off and like, then they took the land back again and then there was another crusade and then it just went on like that for fucking ever basically and until apparently everybody was wiped out but there's places like this where they used to come and worship and meet up and have their secret meetings so this is what this was for, apparently. But then you get all the people saying, oh no, it definitely weren't for that, it weren't for that. But this has been found down a rabbit hole in the middle of the countryside, which it, is weird. It's not just gonna have been put here by John from Barnsley that, that thought, I know what, I need somewhere to go, dig and, hole. Yeah, go and smoke my bong on a Sunday, do you know what I mean? It's, it's here for a reason. And you can tell, looking around, I will sh we'll show you in a bit, but you can tell the difference between the new stuff and the old stuff, like where it's been carved into the walls. Like just down here, there's a fanny in a box. That looks quite old, I think. I think it's an old fanny. Whereas oh, up, oh, it's shaved. up here, it says Lee. I reckon Lee came from Coventry in 1987 and wrote that. So, it has been a bit ruined, and it is a bit of a shame, but I suppose it adds to its history over the years. Yeah, in a few years to come, they'll... Yeah, they'll go, oh, look, it's fucking Lee. He were a legend. Lie, I yeah. But I bet he still can't guess where we're going for the road trip.
Yeah. I don't think we've given it away yet. No way there. Um, it looks so eerie looking through there. I can see his candle Yeah, it does. I wish I could so oh, I'll try and show you in a bit. But it is really eerie. We never do that to each other, do we? Not for a while, have I? No. I think last time I did it, it was George Brown that jumped out of that cupboard. <laughs> oh, I need to say a bit of thank you to um, Exploring with Taffy for this one as well. We did actually have the location for this one, ye well, not years ago, but quite a long time ago, and we lost it, and now he's given it us, so thank you yeah. for that. So get over, get over to his channel. Uh, he's a little rat from Wales, but we love him. Right. Shout out. A couple of shout outs. Oh, I don't think we're doing them till the end. No, we're done now while we're sat here. Oh, I just feel right. like it. I People are probably end. getting bored though. They've turned off now. Okay. Julie Twiddle. I'm sure you've said that name wrong again. Tw Twiddle. Is it Twiddle, Twiddle or Twiddle? Whatever it is. Thank you very much. If you get on the um, findersbeepers.co.uk and you see the little water bottles on there. She's the person that she's makes the person them and provides them. them for I us. them to you. Yeah, she's really good. She's our outsourced person. Yes. And the other one. Which Dix. this is why we're going to do it at the end because you can't Dixie remember. Dixie No Bed. No, that's not the name. Dixie Breakdance. See, that's not the name. Dixie something. Well, the first bit's my. My, Dixie. See, this is why we have a set way of doing things and it's me that's in charge. I just like to you go rogue, mix, you mix go all rogue, up. mix it up, and fucking it just hey, it goes hey, to hey, shit. Hey, hey, hey. This is what we're talking about at AGM on Friday. Your I'm not going. insubordination. I'm not going. You that's, fucking come that's, in. That's why I'm ending my right resignation up. <laughs> Never mind me subordination. Don't, because last time you said you were quitting, everybody cried. I oh, know, I can't keep doing it. You can. What? Pretending to quit? Oh, yeah, no, you can't. You need to stop <laughs> doing that. Right. So every time I speak, it's like echoey. But look, these bits, like the rose bits, they look really old. Whereas that, I think, has been done quite recently. Yeah. And after this shit. Yeah, look, look at it. This is what I run about Lee. Scratched into the roof. It's, it's a right shame. Oh, you've got falling out your ass. Uh, glass. You've got glass falling out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in Newcastle Brown Ale bottle, innit? What, open it up your arse? Yeah. Is that why it's called brown ale? <laughs> Pop's all cold. Do you think this is original where they've scored it out? Yeah, you can see where it's been dug out originally, but I just don't... Its purpose is really strange. Let's get out into the main bit. It's just so echoey in that bit. Like, just little bits like this. But like, the little bits that have been left, like, to make it a pattern. And the ridge round the outside there. It's just it's just dead good. Really good, isn't it? Yeah. I like how they put little holders for his candles. Yeah. That's quite good. But 700 years old apparently. That's not me, that's this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But can you imagine being down here 700 years ago? What would have been going on outside? What the daily life would have been round here? It's just miles away from anywhere. Thing so, is, yeah, even today, there's nothing round so here. I don't understand why they do it in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but if you're a secret service... In a dip as well. Yeah. Would it have been a dip? Because things were over 700 years, it would have built up and built up and built up. Yeah. So will it have always been a dip? Or would they have just dug it out? I don't know. I don't. I have seen it in the newspapers about this place, and I'm finding it. And I'll put a link to the story below. But like I said, nobody really knows why it's here. But it's definitely got age. Well, you can tell. Down here, or what? This because it just that doesn't fit. That doesn't don't fit, does it? No. This is all like red sandstone. So that is like just stone. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that maybe limestone. What do you say? Limestone. And what's that there? That bit. Yeah. It's like there's been something in that. Like stones of some sort. 
inlays, but that looks like cement, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? It's really strange, and I noticed something else in here, actually. We'll go back into where I've just come out of. Was it in here? Oh, no, it wasn't even in here. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting lost already, and it's only a relatively small place. <coughs> but they've got like altars, like a mini altar. Like, what is that? What's the purpose of that? Would that have some religious no, ramifications? Like that, that little round bowly thing. No, but I could imagine, like, that being a Catholic thing with. Mary Magdalene or whatever in that little bit there. What? Mary Magdalene. Might not be, I don't know much about... Mary, Mother of Jesus. Mary Queen of Scots. No, it's not Mary Queen of fucking Scots. It's Mary Magdalene, Mary isn't it? But yeah, Mary, Queen of Jesus. You, you can imagine her being in there. But why? What do you mean? No, because it's like a little thing, like in a What's church. She, she was stood here. Yeah, because look, is she a dwarf? No, look. I don't mean the real one. I mean an effigy. Why? Why, Mary? <laughs> why have I confused you so much? Why Mary Jesus, Mary born of Jesus person? Like the mother of Jesus. Yeah, but why her? Because they always put Mary in churches. Have you not ever been in a ch Catholic church? Yeah, of course I have. I am Catholic. Oh, but you don't know who Mary is. <laughs> yeah, I live next door. <laughs> but look, can you see like there's a square bit in the bottom there? Yeah. And that's like the base of a statue of Mary, Queen of Jesus. We've exhausted this now. Yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. But look, this one's for Mary's brother. No, Mary were in there when she was younger. That's when she got fat. Because it's a bit bigger. Made it a bit wider. That's when she was pregnant. Mary the early days. Mary the... Oh, no, I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that. I'm going to be very careful what I say. There seems another one round here. Oh, this is baby Mary. Baby Mary went in there. What? Like, look at it. What's this bit for here? There's like a bulbous bit. And a little bit... cut. That's got to be for a candle, hasn't it, at the bottom there? But what is that bit for? And why is that looks like Tudor? With the round yeah. bits around it. Yeah, because when you get Tudor rings, I found a Tudor ring, didn't I? Metal it detecting. Is. And that had all got like the spherical, circle y things. Oh, look. There's lots of big fat moths. And they're all these, um, colourful. What? These little cobwebs. What about them? Yes, yeah. Oh, nice and glistening. Yeah, see them? Oh, you're saying that they look good because they're glistening. Oh, you're tall. Friends just say, oh, look, there's a moth. No, because moths are real. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. <laughs> I mean living. That's what I meant. Wait a minute. Don't you be killing moths. Although I could eat one, I suppose. A spider? Oh, yeah, I've noticed the spider. Well, that's where the cobwebs come from. This is what I run about. Right, look at this. Do you think there has been a metal cage around this at some point? And there was a thing outside. I was about to say, was a metal cage thing outside. Yeah, but, it? right, what was that protecting? What was in Some there? effigy, as you say. Yeah, but, oh, look. Like this bit an here. An anchor? That's like an anchor. Maybe it was... Popeye. And the only one I could think See, of to do with water. Popeye, one. olive. <laughs> what, and then? Fat one is Pluto. No, well, it could be, or it could be Alice the Goon. Do you remember Alice the Goon? No. I was talking about Alice the Goon today, weirdly. Who was Alice the Goon? It's like, it was like a man almost, with big shoulders and a big nose. Call it Alice. Yeah, because it was like a man-woman thing. Right, comment down below if you know who Alice the Goon is. I don't. I'll show you a picture of Alice the Goon what shortly. Was it, what was he, she from? Uh, Popeye. Oh. That, that was the whole relevance of Alice the Goon. I weren't just talking about someone called Alice the Goon. Oh, I know what you mean now. Yeah, like really heavy set. Yeah. But it were a woman and you, she wanted to shag Popeye. Bit like, is it Nanny Art of Danger Mouse? 
So, sort of. No, we Danger Mouse. Count Duckula. Or is it Count Duckula? Wait, one of them. I don't know. It's right there, cool. Oh, yeah. Talking some right bollocks tonight. Oh, 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 oh. Are you Father Christmas? No. What was that bit for? That is definitely like an altar, but just looking at those holes, I think something were built into that. And then I just don't get it. It's like it's had a pur it might have had a purpose afterwards. It might not have started off like that. I think it has. Had a purpose before that. Possibly. Not a lot sort of purpose. Right, up on the next section up now. Once again, we've got like the flower. Is it concentric circles? Is that right? Talking to somebody who's got IQ of a plant, I ain't got a clue. You know stuff though. Whenever we have conversations, you're quite knowledgeable. Only on some things. But when it comes to contracep contraceptive circles, <laughs> that's just a Dutch cap, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, oh look, that's telephone number of... Um, Jesus. <laughs> on Jesus on speed dial. Yeah. Hello, Jesus. Mary's in labour. Come on. Get yourself here. What, what, right, just a minute, let's just track back there. Right, why would he ring Jesus to tell her that Mary was in labour <laughs> with Jesus? Don't know. Wow. But yeah, like I was saying, it's, got, it's like these bits I don't understand because they don't seem the right era. Although, when was Tudor? Um... Was that 1300s? 1400s Tudor. 1400s, so... Um, Henry Tudor is 1400s, um, because yep. it was Richard III, which is Battle of Bosworth, which is 1485, and that's Tudors. Right, so the first of the Tudors would possibly be around this sort of time, wouldn't it? Possible. Possible. So actually, it fits in. Fits in quite well. Yeah. Look at us using his metal detecting knowledge to find out shit. Yeah, a bit of history here for you. Yeah. It's not, it's not oops, like us. Oops. We've got history in the title of his YouTube channel. Oh, said we know nothing. We know fuck all. Jesus Christ. Oh, I never noticed that. I've put the cables in here. But well, you've been in there. I ain't been in there. No, but I've never noticed this bit. Well, I can't, all I can see is your arse. <laughs> Why is there like half a tree in here? Oh, oh shit, the bed. I like the flowers. Oh yeah. Like big leaves. Yeah. And that looks stone, unless it's painted. Stoned? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like a different sort of... No, it's like, must be something filled into it. Surely. You think? It looks pretty. I can't see because I'm around this corner, I'm like hidden. That, that was sort of my cue to say, turn the camera around and show my beautiful face. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I can't get in. I'm going to burn my face well, off. You don't get through that little bit, do you? Well, no. But well, I can't yeah. get around the... <laughs> Your tassels were just about in there, though. I'm just going to let you burn yourself to death. <laughs> a slow burn. <laughs> just like when you've had a curry. I wonder if you could drink candle wax. What would happen if you just poured it in your mouth? I'm not going to, because burn. I think it'll hurt. Right, so Andy's up on that sort of top section now, I can't film it properly from, from up there because I'm too close to it. There's not very much room between each bit, is there? No. Don't give you very much room to sort of look round properly. But yeah, this is, it's quite hard to show you. Let me just get past here. It's sort of like a trio of legs. That's the only way I can explain it. It's like, it's the bit that holds it up properly, isn't it? It's like the cent trio. centre support. Is there only, th there's only three, isn't there? Oh, is there? Yeah. There's four legs. Oh, yeah, there is four. It's a quadruple. It's a quadruped. I don't know. We'll never know, we'll will we? We'll never know what happened in here. No. Maybe you just never know. It could have been a local brothel. Right, the 1400s. Why, did they not fuck in the 1400s? Sorry for vulgarity. Yeah, it's not a deaf word. they have done quite well. <laughs> You've only said it about three times. If that. No, but they still used to have sex and there was more sex for sale back then than there is now. Oh, it's all free as well. It weren't free. Have you not seen Game of Thrones? Oh, no, you haven't, have no. you? Something wrong with you. Never seen Game of Thrones. Says you who's never seen... What? Some bad films from the 1990s? I can't remember. Smoking the Bandit. Oh, 
that's, I don't even know what it's about. What, there was something Flash else? Dance. I haven't seen Flashdance. I know it's about a welder because my dad's a welder. So. Dirty Dancing. I've seen Dirty Dancing. Pretty Woman. I haven't seen Pretty Woman. Erin Brockovich. I've definitely not seen Erin Brockovich. What? You, you're telling me all these girly films? It's a true story, that's why I liked it. And it's got Julie Roberts in it. No. Sorry. It's got big hair. Who's other end? I like her. Dark hair. Speed. Sandra Bullock. Yes. Now she's, she's the she's one. She's fit. Yeah. She's oh. my favourite. Sandra Bullock. Must admit. Yeah, someone else I know is favourite, but I'll not mention who. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> I can't say. Anyway, we will leave that there. Oh. I'll tell you off camera. No, I want to know now. I'm not telling you now. Right. So I've just turned the torch right down just to give you a sense of what it's like in here without any big bright lights it is quite freaky to be fair I'll give you a bit of a walk around it's quite hard to make it focus as well It smells beautiful down here though now. Just having a quiet moment somewhere up there. Yeah. I don't even know where you are. I don't need to know where you are, I just don't know where you are. It's really strange. If you're just quiet for a minute. find a strange man just stood there with his back to you. It's like Blair Witch. <laughs> it is, it's lovely. I like it in here. It's got a, a church feel to it because these are like church windows. That's what they make me think of. Yeah, if you put this above ground, yeah. you'd think of the ruins of a church. Yeah, you would. A definite. Really strange. Right. So like we said, we knew, you know what, looking up there, the lights look really high up. We do, don't we? I feel, I thought it was like almost on the same level, but actually it's, it's quite a lot sloped. But yeah, we wanted to link this place. We wanted to come to this place. We knew it weren't gonna be a massive explore and we weren't gonna be down here for hours or whatever. But one, we wanted you to see it because we think it's absolutely, I, well, I think it's amazing. I think it's such a good Unusual, place. Unusual, isn't it? Yeah, it's something that you just don't see every day. The history to it is unknown, and that's what I like as well, because we don't 100% know what's gone off down here. But it also links directly to where we're going on our road trip. <laughs> now, I don't know why it talks me into these places. You're scared, aren't you? I'm not too bad. I think you're a little bit scared. I'm a little bit. You're a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared. And I think if you weren't, you'd be foolish. It's like Russia last year. We were both scared. But if you don't go to these places, then you don't see them. It's somebody else doing it. And I'd rather it be us doing it, us seeing it, and showing you guys what we see. And to be fair, I haven't seen a lot of people do this place. I have never seen another explorer go to these places. I've seen travel vlogs. Yeah. Really like holiday things. The, the touristy, the touristy side, bits, but But it's off the beaten track that we're potentially gonna be looking at. I think we're gonna probably do some of the tourist things because they are interesting anyway. Yeah. And it's still things <coughs> that, me. It's all right, I'm used to it now. <coughs> it's still things that your everyday person's probably not gonna get a chance to do. Shall I stop building it up now and actually tell yeah, them? Yeah, just tell them. So, it's a five hour flight. That gives you a bit of a clue. Fair distance. So, it's not in Europe. So we are going out of Europe for the first time. Flanders beepers worldwide. Mid class Russia's not in Europe? Well, Russia's Europe, you dick. Not in Europe. 
What's that got to do with any? We're not going to be in. Well, we're not in Euro currency. Does that mean we're not in Euro? We're still going to be Europe even when Brexit happens. No, we're no. still going to be part of Europe, you ball bag. Uh, get on with it. It's a continent. It was there before the You're government came. You're in continent. Came. Says him that pisses every five seconds. What about 20 pisses today? I know, you're terrible. It's because it's cold though today. I've been at house all day. Old man bladder though. So. Captain slap bladder. So, outside of Europe, it is in the Middle East. That, that in itself, just saying the Middle East, sounds scary as fuck. Also... It's got a blue and white flag. Has it? It? Yes, it has got a blue and white flag. With a star in the middle. Oh, well then, you've just given it away now. May as well just tell them now. Go on, guess. Tell us down below. If you're doing the, watching the premiere now... Yeah, if you're watching it live with us, guess what it is. Tell us. Now. First person to guess it gets nothing. Um... <laughs> We're going to two countries. The first one is Israel, which you probably just guessed from that. Um, we are going to be exploring all over around there. We're flying into Tel Aviv. Uh, we're going to be sleeping the majority of the time in Bethlehem, potentially, because we've not booked the hotel yet, but I think that's where we're going to be going, looking at the prices and what's there and how nice it is. So Bethlehem, Jesus is going home at last. Um, I'm going to go and see Mary. You know, Mary, who you don't know who it is. Mary Magdalene. <laughs> um, and also, we're going over the border. Now, what's over the border? You've got Lebanon. You've got Syria. You've got where we're going, which is Jordan. So we're going to... Gaza over... Strip. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to Gaza Strip. So I want to go over the border to Syria. You won't let me. That's because you've been, you've been told you can't go within three kilometres of the Syrian border. Why, though? Why? Short, long, pointy, blowy, uppy things. That's Short, why. long, blowy, uppy, pointy yeah. things. Long, pointy, blowy, uppy. 60 missiles been sh shooted from Gaza. Shooted? <laughs> shoot shoot been shooted from Gaza Strip this year. Yeah, 60. Yeah, that's the opposite direction. Gaza Strip's that way. Syria's this way, and we all know Syria's a popular destination. Yeah, all of the destination. That Begum lass, she loved it there. Yeah, she can just. She didn't want to come there. back. I don't know if she did want to come back. Yeah, they brought her back and all. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be quite scary and in intense. We are going to do some touristy stuff as well. Yeah. There's one thing I'm trying my hardest to get him to do, but it's not me. We'll see. Leave it with me. You get to see my legs. Oh yeah, because it's going to be warm. 25 degrees. Unlike like this, can you see how much breath's coming out of me at the moment? Well, I wish there weren't, I wish you'd fucking die. That is so hard. Do you know, since I've been sat here talking about this road trip, I swore about five times. Maybe it's the... Actually, we haven't explained why it's to do with that. So they went over from... Crusaders. The Crusaders <laughs> over to Jerusalem and took Jerusalem and then got kicked out and then went back and then got kicked out. And if this was Knights Templar and the Crusaders, then it's a proper good link, isn't it? Excellent. Did you hear a noise then? Did you just fart? No. It went... Like a woman? You literally can't hear anything down here either, can you? No. Anyway... That's where we're going. That's where we're going. You've all been guessing. A couple of people weren't far off, actually. But, and we're hoping, we're going to set you guys a challenge to help us. And that is, we want to get to 10,000 subscribers before we go. We're currently on about six and a half. We want to get to 7,000 by the 1st of January. Yeah. And we want to hit 10,000 by the time we go. And we're on track for that at the moment, which is... Unbelievable, because at the beginning of this year, we were only on about 2,000, 2,500. So it's, it's gone mental. So we appreciate everything you do. Help us, though, by asking the, your friends to subscribe, your uncles, brothers, mothers. Also, the second channel, you'll really enjoy the second channel. If you like this, go over to the second channel, which is Beep a Beef. Subscribe to that. Um, we're going to be putting loads more on there. All the behind-the-scenes Russia stuff's on there at the moment. All the behind the scenes uh, France stuff is going up soon. We've got different sorts of videos on there, non exploring videos, and then you'll get to see all the Israel stuff behind the scenes as well. 
there's just so much stuff to tell them and so little time to do it. <coughs> We've got a charity event coming up next year. We're not going to give you the details yet. It is in the UK, but it's UK wide. It's quite exciting. I'm quite looking forward to this one. A lot easier than last time. A lot easier in one way, but we're going to have things to do as we're doing it. Can't, can't speak. So, head to head, Matt versus Andy. It's 2-1 two two one. One to you at the moment. There is some other Matt versus Andy's coming up as well. We've got those. It's just finding time to do them at the moment. VidCon, that's VidCon. coming up as well in February. February. So, anybody that wants to come to VidCon in London, uh, it's the end of February. Is it the end of February? 20th, about the 20th. 20th of February. Come and see us. Come, come and see us. Fetch me a Prezi. Oh, two yeah, because he's. Oh, two months. Two weeks. Oh, two weeks after your birthday. Yeah. yeah. Come say happy birthday. So, yeah, that's about it. There is lots more other things. We're on the. Oh, yeah, because we've told Facebook this, but we've not told them. We're going to be on telly at the end of spring. Have we told Facebook? We've told Facebook. You know nothing. You know, do nothing. You just turn up each week yeah. and I do everything else. You do. So, yeah. Big moans, if I do stuff, big moans, then I don't press the hard button. Yeah, you do it wrong. You don't See, listen. You don't say to me, a good day, listen, a good day. But you don't fucking listen to me. <laughs> a good day, a good day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Press the thumbs up the heart button. Don't just press the thumbs up because you know where you get it from. If you press the heart button, you know it comes from us. Exactly. And I've been saying this, but you still don't do it. But anyway. Sometimes I like What we're talking about now? Uh, Big oh, No, telly. We're going to be on telly. We're going to be on um, Quest, which is owned by the Discovery Channel. And it will be at the end of spring. I don't know whether you can get that in America. If you can, brilliant. Uh, we will put links in when it finally happens. And yeah, we will. So it's quite excited. I'm excited. I really am excited. Anyway, we've been talking for ten minutes now, so we better get off. We're better. So we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.